Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Cam of Ka, a 31 Helix series of naval helicopters originated from a requirement within the Soviet Navy for a temporary airborne early warning, AEW, platform, as attention and resources were directed towards the proposed specialized Antonov An-71 Madcap. The An-71 was intended to operate directly from the flight decks of the limited Soviet carrier fleet, but plans for it were scrapped when interest shifted towards the Yakovlev Yak-44 alternative. The Yak-44, a fixed-wing design for carrier-based operations, was also abandoned due to the collapse of the Soviet Union. While three and 71 prototypes were constructed, only a full-scale mock-up of the Yak-44 was ever produced. This series of events led to the adaptation of the reliable Cam of Ka-27 Helix anti-submarine helicopter into the Ka-29 variant for naval use. Development work on the Ka-29 began in 1980. The Ka-29 airframe incorporated the radar system originally intended for the abandoned and 71 design, resulting in the designation of the new prototype as the Ka-29 RLD. While the fuselage was widened, it still maintained the distinctive robust form characteristic of the Helix family, including its contrarotating, stacked main rotor assemblies. To accommodate the radar system, the four-point undercarriage was retractable, ensuring minimal interference with the system when deployed, consisting of four single-wheeled main landing gear legs, two forward and two aft. The E-801E OCO radar system was installed under the fuselage, capable of tracking targets as small as conventional fighters up to 150 kilometers away, day or night. For transport, the radar system lay flat against the fuselage and was only raised during active use, prompting the landing gear to retract. Standard features included GPS navigation and a semi-digital cockpit, while the dual-engine configuration was upgraded to the Klimov brand TV3-117 VMAR series, enhancing performance. Additionally, improvements were made to sensors and communication systems. Following an extensive period of trials and evaluation, the helicopter was cleared for flight. Its maiden flight occurred in 1987, and it gained official recognition by the West in 1988 when a pair were observed operating on the deck of the Tbilisi. During the turbulent years following the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Ka-31 experienced a period of stagnation. However, as the situation began to stabilize somewhat in the 1990s, limited serial production of the Ka-31 commenced. It wasn't until 1995 that the Ka-31 was officially inducted into the inventory of the newly formed Russian Navy. Over time, the Ka-31 underwent upgrades to its various systems to ensure its relevance on the modern battlefield. To date, approximately 35 to 40 of these helicopters have been manufactured. The Ka-31 is crewed by a standard operating team of three, comprising a pilot, co-pilot, and up to three mission specialists. Positioned at the front of the fuselage, the cockpit provides excellent visibility through an array of windscreens. Entry and exit for the pilots are facilitated by hinged automobile-style doors located on the forward fuselage sides. Directly aft of the cockpit lies the crew cabin area. Powering the aircraft are a pair of Klimov, Isotov, TV3-117 VMAR turboshaft engines, each generating 1,217 horsepower to drive two three-bladed main rotor blades. These engines are arranged side-by-side -side along the fuselage roof. Thanks to its contrarotating blades, the Ka-31 eliminates the need for a conventional tail rotor to counteract the torque of the main rotor system. Instead, it features a tail composed of two large area vertical tail fins, a design characteristic consistent with previous cam of helicopter models. The reported top speed of the Ka-31 is 166 miles per hour, with a cruise speed of approximately 126 miles per hour. Its range extends to 324 nautical miles, and it boasts a service ceiling of just under 11,500 feet. Engineered with naval operations in mind, the Ka-31 skin and critical components are designed to withstand corrosion, ensuring longevity in maritime environments. The Ka-31 has experienced restricted foreign export sales, primarily to the Indian Navy and the Chinese Navy. India, which currently operates at least one aircraft carrier, has acquired the Ka-31. Similarly, China, in the midst of trialing one, former Soviet, aircraft carrier and constructing several more, received its first Ka-31 helicopters in November 2010. As of the latest information available, the Ka-31 continues to serve in operational capacities for all its designated users. That's all for now, see you later.